Testosterone boosters are all the rage, but do they truly live up to their name? We've got a deep dive that promises to reshape your understanding. And trust me, by the end, you'll see why blood tests might not be the whole story. Swayed by bold promises of testosterone boosters, yet are you questioning their true power? Hold tight, because today we're peeling back the layers of testosterone supplements and make sure you watch until the end where we will be revealing the results between boosters or TRT. We'll be spotlighting the authentic, evidence-based strategies to potentially enhance your T levels. Prepare to have your perceptions shattered. The insights we're about to unveil are both groundbreaking and game-changing. Trust us, you'll want to be a part of this revelation. So, what are some of the testosterone boosters on the market today, and do they work? There's a lot of hype surrounding these supplements, but what does the science say? We're breaking down the top testosterone boosters on the market and giving you the evidence-based scoop. All right, let's begin with the popular one, Tribulus Terrestris. Tribulus terrestris, sometimes referred as punctuvine, has a rich history in traditional medicine across various cultures from China to Greece. Its roots and fruits have been utilized for a myriad of purposes, from enhancing libido to improving physical performance. With such historical significance, it's no wonder that modern supplement makers have been quick to jump on the bandwagon, claiming testosterone boosting properties. But what does contemporary research say? While some initial studies, primarily animal-based or with small sample sizes, hinted at tribulus having potential testosterone-boosting effects, these results haven't consistently translated to larger or more robust human trials. In fact, a comprehensive review published in the Journal of Dietary Supplements analyzed several studies on tribulus terrestris. And the conclusion? There was no substantial evidence to support claims that tribulus supplementation significantly impacts testosterone levels in humans. Moreover, some studies even found that while it might boost libido in some individuals, this doesn't necessarily correlate with an increase in testosterone. So this suggests that any benefits might be more psychological or related to other physiological pathways rather than a direct boost in testosterone. So while Tribulus terrestris does have an esteemed place in historical remedies and might have some benefits, it's essential to approach it with a critical mind. And when it comes to boosting testosterone, the current body of scientific evidence suggests that Tribulus might not be the silver bullet many hope for. All right, number two. Fenugreek is a common ingredient in testosterone boosters. Fenugreek, it sounds exotic, and many of us may know it as a flavorful spice in some dishes, but it also became a star player in the world of testosterone boosters. Now, traditionally, uh, Ayurvedic medicine, fenugreek has a long touted health promoting properties, but does it truly measure up when it comes to boosting testosterone? So listen, a study published in the International Journal of Sport Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism in 2010 did find that fenugreek supplementation had a positive effect on testosterone levels and muscle strength in resistance-trained men. Sounds promising, right? But here's where it gets interesting. Other studies haven't echoed these positive findings. And for instance, research from the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition reported that fenugreek supplementation did not impact uh, hormones in, in the way that you would like, including testosterone, uh, in the resistance trained male. And there's also evidence suggesting that any increase in testosterone isn't functionally significant. So this means while lab results might show a slight uptick, it doesn't necessarily translate to noticeable benefits in muscle growth, strength, or other areas typically associated with testosterone. In conclusion, while fenugreek does offer a myriad of health benefits and has a rich history of traditional uses, uh, might even taste nice in some dishes, its role as a consistent, effective testosterone booster is still under debate. And as always, we advocate for a critical assessment of any supplement and recommend consulting with a healthcare professional. So next on our list is diaspartic acid, often abbreviated as D-AA. Diaspartic acid is an amino acid, and while it's naturally found in our bodies, it's been gaining traction in the supplement world for its purported testosterone-boosting abilities. So 
What does the scientific literature tell us about diaspartic acid and its effect on testosterone? Well, a study published in 2009 in Reproductive Biology and Endocrinology found that diaspartic acid supplementation increased levels of testosterone by 42% after just 12 days in healthy men. These findings ignited enthusiasm, and we can see why, in the fitness and health community. But before jumping on the diaspartic acid bandwagon, it's crucial to have a look at the, the bigger picture. Because another study conducted in 2013 and published in the Journal of International Society of Sports and Nutrition had resistance-trained men supplement with diaspartic acid. And the result? Well, no significant changes in testosterone levels were observed. This further dampened enthusiasm. The 2017 study suggested that diaspartic acid supplementation might even reduce testosterone levels in healthy, resistance-trained men. So while diaspartic acid has shown some promise in isolated studies, the overall consensus is still mixed. The inconsistency in findings highlights the need for more comprehensive research before making definitive claims. So remember, when it comes to supplements, it's essential to dive deep into the evidence, understand the nuances, and most importantly, consult with a healthcare professional. So next up is Tongkat Ali, which you might also hear referred to as Longjack, or its botanical name, Eurocoma longifolia. It originates from the rainforests of Southeast Asia, and this herb has long been utilized in traditional medicine, especially for its supposed aphrodisiac properties. But the real question is, does it hold up again to scientific evidence as a testosterone booster? So, an intriguing study published in the Asian Journal of Andrology in 2012 found that men who took Tongkat Ali experienced improvements in testosterone levels and also reported enhanced mood. And a study from the Journal of International Society in Sports Nutrition in 2013 highlighted its potential in improving stress or reducing the, the hormone cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and certain mood state parameters. So it suggests that it might not just be about testosterone. But like many other supplements, it's a nuanced picture. And while there's definitely positive data surrounding Tongkat Ali, it's also true that the body of research is still emerging. Now, many of the studies conducted at smaller scale and lack of long-term data. So what's the take-home message here? Tongkat Ali shows promise, but as with any supplement, it's essential to approach it with an informed perspective. And more comprehensive, large-scale studies will provide a clearer understanding of its potential benefits. Now, we touched on Tongkat Ali's potential as boosting testosterone, but here's another fascinating angle that I remember from a while back in 2009 and its role in regulating prolactin. Now, prolactin is a hormone that, when elevated, can suppress testosterone production. In men with high prolactin levels, they experience uh, symptoms like diminished libido and erectile dysfunction, maybe even enlarged breast tissue. So how does Tongkat Ali fit into this picture? Well, there have been preliminary studies suggesting that Tongkat Ali might help normalize prolactin levels. A study from the Journal of Ethnopharmacology found that Tongkat Ali, Eurocoma longifolia, the active compound in Tongkat Ali, could reduce prolactin levels. It's believed by helping regulate prolactin, Tongkat Ali might indirectly support healthier testosterone levels and mitigate some of the issues associated with high prolactin. So though promising, remember the scientific landscape is ever evolving and it's very initial data, more data to come and before we can make any definitive conclusions. And just like the other supplements, it may just be an, a short increase or decrease in prolactin, a short increase in testosterone. It may not be a viable functional medical treatment uh, for improving low testosterone. So we have to keep that in mind. So the big question is, do testosterone boosters really work? And that's something that's quite still up for debate. And it's quite complicated. And while some might offer a minor boost, especially those who are deficient in certain minerals, it might not be a magic bullet. So the substances that may improve uh, your prolactin your testosterone, like Tonkat Ali, may show some sort of functional improvement and help with some symptoms of low testosterone. We still don't have enough data, including that study from the Asian Journal of Andrology, and so more consensus is needed on this. So the big question are, or is, do testosterone boosters really work? It's a complicated picture. And while some of these herbal boosters might show short-term improvements, we're not sure about their long-term effects. But let's 
ask ourselves about other types of testosterone boosters. Let's talk about useful vitamins and minerals which may hold promise for boosting testosterone levels. Let's start with vitamin D3, often dubbed the sunshine vitamin. Now, vitamin D has long been celebrated for its critical role in bone health, but there's more to this essential nutrient than meets the eye. Delving beyond its well-known benefits, a compelling study from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2011 draws a fascinating link between vitamin D3 supplementation and elevated testosterone levels. Now, this suggests that our exposure to sunlight intake of vitamin D3 supplements may not only strengthen our bones, but could play a pivotal role in regulating and boosting our testosterone levels. And the implications of this potential discovery could reshape our understanding of how interconnected our body systems truly are. Now, with vitamin D3, I also uh, personally take vitamin D3 always with magnesium and vitamin K2 uh, to balance out the effects uh, unless you get vitamin D3 from sunlight. So, of course, having knowledge is your best tool. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, please press like and let us know if you agree or disagree with our picks. But we're not over yet because the next supplement would be zinc. Uh, zinc, it comes in many different forms. There's often an unsung hero in the realm of minerals. And while it's widely recognized for bolstering our immune system, the spectrum of its benefits is vast and varied. Beyond its critical role in wound healing, brain function, and growth, zinc emerges as a potential powerful powerhouse in hormone regulation, especially testosterone. This is why you see the ZMA supplements. Uh, zinc is part of that ZMA. So in the scientific realm, a notable study from the Nutrition Journal in 2006 revealed an intriguing relationship between zinc and testosterone. And the research observed that elderly men with a zinc deficiency, when supplemented with this essential mineral, witnessed a marked increase or rise in their testosterone levels. Now, such findings underscore the importance of maintaining optimal zinc levels, not just for immunity, but also considering it as a pivotal player in the realm of hormonal balance and overall well-being. But also consider this, if you're deficient, that's one thing. If you're not deficient, will adding more zinc actually help? And, and that's still to be determined. So anyway, the next time we think of zinc, it's essential to recognize its multifaceted role in our bodies. Um, you may not want to add more zinc if you have healthy natural levels of zinc, and because the body has this intricate dance of biochemistry. So as astounded as you might be by zinc, there's another mineral, a mighty mineral you can call it, magnesium. And while many of us know it as a critical component for nerve function, I take magnesium as well uh, as part of my formula with vitamin D3. Being a critical component of nerve function, it also helps with muscle relaxation. It also helps with energy production. And magnesium also has the potential and influence uh, that extends even deeper into our body's complex system. Magnesium's connection to testosterone is essential as, as it's an essential hormone governing numerous physiological functions. And this has piqued the interest in the scientific community. So a significant study featuring the biological trace element research in 2011 looked at this relationship. It revealed some intriguing insights. The research suggests that adequate magnesium levels might play a role in optimizing testosterone levels, potentially influencing everything from muscle strength to mood regulation. And as we continue to uncover the multifaceted benefits of magnesium, it's clear that its role is not just foundational, but transformative, reshaping our understanding of how interconnected our body functions truly are. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, because that balance of my hormones, at least balance of my hormones in the UK, in the Republic of Ireland and Spain, we understand the interplay between vitamins, minerals, and hormones, and how they synergize to influence our overall health. So recognizing the need for the comprehensive understanding, we've, we're excited to introduce our new blood test. And this isn't your ordinary test. It contains not just your hormone levels, but meticulously looks at these essential vitamins and minerals that I just mentioned, including magnesium, including zinc, including vitamin D3, folate, and B12. So for those keen on a holistic understanding of the body's intricate balance and optimizing their health, journey, this, this blood test is a game changer. And the best part is these blood tests are easily accessible on our website through Balance My Hormones. Now, while we're on the topic of balancing hormones and testosterone levels, some external foes might be in play to derail all of it. 
Now, have you ever thought about the role of environmental toxins like phthalates and, and plastics, possibly in some of the testosterone boosters themselves, or even in the general environment? And their story starts with testosterone and covered in the paper in 2007, Environmental Health Perspectives. And it's quite the revelation, as well as more recent studies showing the negative effects of not just phthalates, but all other endocrine disruptors that could be affecting your hormones. So stay with me. We're about to get to the part everyone should know. What if the blood tests that you do do whilst you're on these boosters don't tell you the entire story? Now, from the studies and extensive clinical experience, we've observed a trend. Now, sure, there's a spike in testosterone blood levels from some of the boosters, but many patients are coming to balance my hormones still reporting symptoms of low testosterone. Now, how is that possible? Well, it might be due to transient spikes, maybe lab interference as a result of taking these different supplements, maybe an increase in sex hormone binding globulin that binds to the testosterone, reducing its effectiveness, but maybe on paper it still shows a slightly elevated level as a result of these boosters. But what's on paper isn't always what's happening in your body, and understanding these intricacies can be the difference between merely feeling okay and feeling alive. So where does that leave us? nature's marvels, lab tests, and the underlying truths. Equip yourself with knowledge, but remember, always consult with professionals. Contact us at Balance My Hormones, and if you want to take a deeper dive, ask questions and be informed. And I know this has been a whirlwind of insight. Did you find any of this surprising? Did you like what we had to say? Spread the word, and if you want more engaging content, subscribe and hit the notification bell, and let's continue unraveling the myths around boosters together.